English offers a number of things. It offers courses which will stretch, your, stretch you intellectually. You will read texts, you will encounter ideas with which you're unfamiliar, which are complex and you have to grapple with. Material that you have to analyze as accurate, accurately as you can, arguments to frame them well, learning how to write uh, well and clearly, one, a skill that really is so neglected and yet is so important. Uh, you can also in English learn to be a writer yourself. We offer programs in creative writing and these are a blend of critical courses and creative writing courses, but they're aimed at you learning to write creatively yourself, but also with the assumption that you can write best creatively if you've seen what some other practitioners in the field have done. I think that English offers a unique mixture of a sense of doing things for yourself, things that you could be passionately interested in and you want to follow yourself, and at the same time gaining some invaluable skills. You know, I know people now who, I know one person, one student of mine who is a partner in KPMG, started with um, an MA in English. Another person I know has a very senior management position in Westpac in Sydney in their central office. Uh, I know others who are diplomats because the kinds of skills that you learn in liberal arts or humanities are basic analytical reading, um, expression skills which you're going to need in a range of tasks and a range of jobs. So it really does open you up. They're also the sort of courses that in one sense, this could be daunting and off-putting, don't have strict limitations. They do in a sense in that there is a bare minimum you can do, but there's always more which you're encouraged to do if the material grabs you and interests you, which it hopefully will.